Hey YouTube, it's your girl April Ray. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how I moisturize my type 4 or 4C hair. Um, it is getting about that time. I don't want to go ahead and wash my hair quite yet, um, but I need to um, moisturize my hair. My hair gets really, really dry towards the crown of my hair and um yeah so i need to moisturize it and i just want to share with you guys how i go along doing that so let's go ahead and get started so how i moisturize my hair um i use the lco me method versus the loc method i find when i put the oil at the end of the process it further locks in that moisture it is the cold winter months now and so my hair gets really 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 dry i am a very dry person as it is it is hereditary so my scalp gets really really dry in the winter my hands gets really really dry in my skin so i want to make sure i lock in that moisture properly um, so I can prevent breakage and just prevent all type of further issues, itchy scalp and everything that comes along with dryness. So let's get started into the process. I'm going to go ahead and take this bun off and I'm going to split my hair into four sections and it is very dry. So I'm going to try to be as gentle as, pro as possible. Um, very, very, very dry. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some flat twists on my hair. It is very easy for me to do some flat twists. So I'm going to get these clips, clip my hair into place. And I'm not really going to focus in on the products that I will be using, but I will be using a liquid, I'm just gonna use some aloe vera juice and water. I'm gonna use a curl cream for my cream and oil, my trusty OMG oil. All right, and we're gonna start off with this front section. So as you can tell, it looks it may not look all that dry, but it feels dry to me. It feels really dry, especially around the roots. All right, so I'm gonna get started. Again, I am flat twisting my hair, so I'm just gonna take a section there. Clip this part away. Some aloe vera juice and water. Wow, I can already feel a difference with that. I'm gonna take my curl cream. I'm not gonna take too much. I'm not gonna put some on my end. And take some oil. Me and this oil.
Okay guys, so now that I am all finished with um, moisturizing my hair, um, what I do is I'm just gonna put a satin bonnet on or a scarf on my hair and go to sleep. Um, it is uh, 4.20 right now, it is uh, snowing outside, the roads are pretty bad, so I'm just gonna just probably chill for the rest of the evening. I have to work tomorrow, so. Um, I'm just gonna let this sit and air dry and then wake up the next morning and um, yeah, take the flat twist out and go to work and we will see how it turns out. But uh, my hair feels really, really good. Um, the twists are nice and plump as you can tell. Um, definitely a huge difference from um, the start of this video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to sleep at night and then wake up the next morning and show you guys what the results are um, from re-moisturizing um, in between washes. So stay tuned for the results. Okay guys, so basically I ran out of time this morning so I could not um, film taking my hair down um, as I didn't have time to take my hair down. So, down. so I threw a head wrap on and now I am here after work and we are going to get started on um, taking these twists down that I took out last night. So let's get this head wrap off and I'm pretty sure like many people, um, they wear a hair bonnet under their uh under their hair wrap so we're gonna get this off throw that aside and as you can see my twists are still looking pretty good and moisturized thank god for hair bonnets when you need them all right so i am going to go ahead and start unraveling these twists And you guys have seen me do this before, but we're just gonna go ahead and get started. And as I am taking my hair um, wrap off, or twist down, golly, unraveling my twist, I mean, my hair feels really moisturized. And that definition is kicking it, isn't it? Look at that. And if you wanna know, the curl cream I used was the Curls Blueberry Bliss twist and shock cream. I haven't used that hair cream in a while, but it always comes through. Like, always comes through when I need it the most. It never lets me down. And this is on old hair. Look at that definition, honey. I'm gonna go ahead and finish taking these out and I will be right back. Whew, okay, so I am back. I just took out all my twists and fluffed my hair and I just wanna give you a close up of how moisturized my hair looks and it definitely feels very, very moisturized. And again, this is just from water um, and aloe vera juice curl cream and oil and I did not rewash my hair or anything just moisturize my thick 4c hair and then I did grab a pick and pick my hair out so let me just have you look at the back of it I didn't look at the back of it you're looking at the back of it <laughs> so yeah so I um Basically, that's just how I moisturize my hair in between my washes when my uh, fro gets um, very dry, definitely in the winter time. Um, it helps to prolong that time between washes. And uh, I hope that you enjoy this video and pick up something uh, from this video. I know there's a lot of natural hair videos out there. Um, not a lot of 4C natural hair videos out there. Shout out to my 4C girls. Um, but yes, so this is how I do it and it has worked for me keeping uh, my hair moisturized through these dry winter months and through the summer months. Um, yeah, just keeping my hair 
dry, uh, moisturized at all times because like I said I'm a very 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 dry person so always be honest be true and be the best version of you like this video subscribe to my channel uh, comment down below share with me how you keep your hair moisturized uh, what is your moisturizing steps on uh, keeping your locks uh, nice and moisturized so thank you so much for watching you guys I will talk to you guys in my next video until next time you do bye